This month saw the return of the Frankfurt International Motor Show, one of the biggest international motor shows on the planet, packed with big name reveals from around the world, and this year was the year of the EV, with electric cars stealing the show and making all of the headlines. So with lots of new cars revealed and announced, both concepts and production ready EVs, let's take a look at some of the key talking points. What better place to start than with Mercedes-Benz EQV, the all-electric people carrier? The luxurious MPV comes with a 150 kilowatt battery up to 250 miles of range with the ability of an 80% charge in just 45 minutes. Not bad for an EV with eight seats as standard in the UK. And there was more from Mercedes-Benz with the reveal of its Vision EQS luxury limo concept, which looks to be the Mercedes-Benz EQ take on an all-electric S-Class of the future. Likely to be on sale in 2021, it features two motors combining 470 brake horsepower, 0-60 in under 4.5 seconds and a 100 kilowatt battery, giving the car a predicted range of over 400 miles. Sustainably practical in more ways than one as well, with a leather alternative interior that's made from recycled plastic bottles and a roof liner that's been formed out of high quality textile that was created by adding a quantity of recycled ocean waste plastic, which Mercedes-Benz says takes the use of sustainable materials to a whole new level. One manufacturer who showcased a stand void of any combustion engines at the show was VW, with their feature being the ID3 range. While VW's most recent electric cars on the market, the E-Golf and the E-Up, were both based on combustion engine cars, the ID3 marks the beginning of VW's bespoke pure electric platform that could arguably be as important to their brand as the Beetle or the Mark I Golf. The ID3 will come with three different battery sizes, offering a range of between 242 and 342 miles per charge, with a top speed of 100 miles per hour. One of the stars of the show came from Porsche and their first all-electric car, the Porsche Taycan. We were lucky enough to get an early glimpse of the Taycan in New York and can vouch for why we should all be shouting about this car. 0-60 in 2.8 seconds with a range of around 260 to 280 miles depending on the battery option. And then there's the Turbo S version of the Taycan, which despite having a 90 kilowatt battery that brings the weight of the car up to 2.2 tons, can lap the Nürburgring in the same time as a 911 GT3, setting the record as the fastest four-door electric sports car. The Taycan runs on 800 volts, opposed to the standard 400, which means faster charging and 80% charge in around 20 minutes. Audi also showed they meant business at the motor show with the AI Trail Quattro, the fourth in a series of concepts by Audi, an all-electric off-roader that didn't have any problems turning heads in Frankfurt. With its powerful battery of 4 to 500 kilometers of off-road range, 22-inch wheels, a wraparound windshield, hammock-style seats, and drones for headlights. The AI Trail Quattro is equipped with five electrically operated LED drones acting as Audi light pathfinders, capable of landing on a roof rack or directly on the roof of the vehicle and docking onto the inductive charging elements. And get this, the onboard cameras send a video image back to the car's display, giving the driver extra eyes. Mad. Now concepts don't always make it to production, in fact, they often don't but with the Audi AI Trail Quattro, we'll certainly be hoping that it does. What announcement or reveal interested you the most from the Frankfurt International Motor Show? Let us know in the comments.